So all the old latch latches on this trailer are this twist and lock style. And there's a lot of disadvantages to having it. One I noticed as soon as I bought the trailer is it was cold that season and water got in here and it completely froze us. So I had, didn't have the ability to open or close these boxes until the water had thawed. So um, both boxes on the back of the trailer, uh, the latches have completely broken or started to break. So I'm going to replace them with a different style of clamp and hopefully it works. So now that we have the new piece of metal cut, we got the old plate here that had the old mechanism in it. So I'm just going to line it up, drill the same holes that were in it, and put rivets so I can put it back on the box, and then attach the clamp right here. So the latches we'll be using I found on Amazon, and uh, they're just the pressure style normal clamp ones that have a hook on the other side of the box. So we'll attach it to the edge of this plate right here. So I kind of hope we get a closer or a tighter um, close on the box than we did with the other latches. All right, now that we got all of our holes drilled, we're going to sand it down, hit it some mineral spirits, and uh, give it some paint, and we'll get it back on the box. All right, if you notice this latch right here, this is the, latch, the box on the back of the trailer where the kitchen is. And now this mechanism right here is broke. So if you got to clamp it down, this should come all the way closed and it's just almost spinning freely. It comes off, but it doesn't want to tighten down very much. So what we're going to have to do is drill these rivets out, take it off, drill these off, and uh, replace it with the new uh, hardware that I've created. These two are worn down and it's hard, having a hard time drilling into them, so we're going to break out the good old angle grinder. It's going to take a little bit of elbow grease to get this off because it has uh, sealant, so it's a little sticky. There we go. All right, now that we got the old hardware off, going to get the new plate mounted right here but first I'm going to put some silicone around the edge of this hole to seal it up a little bit and then we'll move to the hardware Now that we got the plate mounted out nicely, uh, we're going to let the uh, silicone dry, but for now we're also going to look, uh, we're going to attach the latch piece before we measure to see where we need to put the hook on this side. Alright, now that we have the uh, latch mounted, we're going to see where we need to put the hook, so we got to get this off first and then see where the best place to attach it is. Well, it's not perfectly straight, but hopefully it works. I had to drill on one of these little bumps and the bit kept slipping. 
Well, that's so stupid. I can't screw it in anymore. And it needs to go about an eighth of an inch tighter. I think instead of uh, instead of drilling this out and moving it out, I'm going to just cut this bolt down a little bit. Okay, cut the bolt down a little bit, and we'll see. Let's we'll see if this can do a little better. All right, well, I put, those rivets are too small, so we gotta do this again. I'm having issues with different rivets, rivet size to hold this uh, other piece to the latch, but to keep from making this into Swiss cheese, I'm going to mount another plate right here. So it'll make it stronger, and then we'll have a, we'll figure out what we're gonna do with the latching mechanism. All right, that was a lot of trial and error trying to get this uh, latch to attach. I, I still don't like it. I think I might, instead of rivets on this part, I might go with bolts um, just to get a little tighter. Um, but it seems to work pretty well. And I'll probably do this same process on all the boxes on the trailer moving forward. So if you like the video, thanks for watching. Please, please subscribe. And uh, we'll see you next time.